Join our hosts as they check out the Stamus 370 Aegean, an outboard powered express with room for the entire family and features for the avid sport fisherman. The Stamus 370 Aegean has an overall length of 37 feet, a beam of 11 feet 2 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 850. Engineered for adventurous offshore excursions, she has a draft of 19 inches, a dead rise of 18 degrees, a dry weight of 13,000 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 356 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. Guys, I gotta tell you, Stamus has been building boats a long time as we know. This one's different. This one's not a center console, not a cuddy cabin. This one to me feels like an express sport fisherman. Well, it is an express sport fisherman, Rick. We're on the 370 Aegean from Stamus today. And you know, this is a legitimate cabin boat. And a cabin boat is a whole different animal than a center console. This is gonna offer you a lot of versatility. You're gonna have a lot of options on this boat to do things that you would definitely wouldn't have to do if you're on a center console. You're right, I see a lot of versatility on this boat. With that cabin, I could be on this boat for days. I just gotta go get my passport. Well, you know what the Stamus family is famous for saying? We've been overbuilding boats for over 60 years. I couldn't wait to get on the 37 Aegean, and she didn't disappoint in the least. This may be the reason why it's Stamus yachts instead of Stamus boats. This one is a true sport fishing yacht. Now this is my fourth season working on Best Boat and it just occurred to me that in four years we have not done one single inboard powered boat. If there was ever a boat that we've seen over the course of these years that was like an inboard boat, the Stamus 370 Aegean is definitely the boat. At 37 feet long by 11 feet wide and 13,000 pounds, this is probably the most big boat feel you're going to squeeze out of a 37 foot boat under any circumstances. And believe me when I tell you, this boat feels like a big boat. Cruising at 35 miles an hour, this boat offered 1.2 miles to the gallon, which for any boat of that dimension is really impressive. A big diesel boat of that size is not gonna get that kind of mileage. Top speed on the boat, 50 miles an hour, still brought you 0.83 miles to the gallon, which isn't a lot, but that's a big boat going 50 miles an hour, and that is economical. In the cabin today, you have every amenity that you have at home. That's why it was so comfortable from the king size bed up in the bow, sink, stove, microwave, refrigerator, even utility doors. And across from the kitchen, not only is it a booth table setting, that actually converts into another bed. Then you have a full stand up shower, head, and an additional sink in the bathroom. Now I don't typically talk about a lot of the comfort and design features on a boat. I leave that department to Lori, but Stamus has taken advantage of every inch of space in the boat, and I like how they're using all of the cabin and all of the space below decks, more importantly. The boat features an aft cabin, which is essentially when you walk down into the cabin, turn around and face where the person driving the boat would be standing. Underneath there, there's a bunk. Talk about having room. This thing had such a big cockpit. Plenty of room for a half a dozen people to stand along the rails and bottom fish if they want to. Here again, it gave you the feel of being on a yacht, not being on a boat. Having the tackle center within easy reach of the cockpit is a sport fishing mate's dream. If you want to change a bait, change a lure, open the door, pull out the tray you need, close it back, everything's organized. You can switch the type of fishing you're doing in minutes, not in an hour. One aspect of the 370 Aegean that I found really interesting, in fact, the big reveal moment came for me when we lifted the hatch, the cockpit sole comes up in one piece, this gigantic hatch lifts up on powered pistons and reveals a huge storage area underneath the decks, and I mean huge. The generator fits below underneath this space, there's room for a seat keeper, there's room to put all kinds of gear down there as well. It's a great use of space. Guys, there is nothing this boat can't accomplish. It is just fantastic. You're right, Lori. I mean, this boat definitely proved itself to be as versatile as I thought it was gonna be. You know, we got caught in the rain on this boat. We got out of the rain in that cabin. We spent the day in the sun in this boat and we put the kid down in the cabin to get out of the sun. We took naps down there, we ate lunch down there. I mean, a cabin boat that you can spend a lot of time on and have all this comfort up here and the fishability, this thing was great. You're right, guys. And you know what? I've been trying to figure out why this boat felt so big to me. 
We got all the cockpit back here that a sport fisherman would ever need. We've got this luxurious cabin, but I think I figured it out. You feel like you're on a flying bridge right here, don't you? This height, I couldn't figure out why I kept coming up here to watch the baits and everything. It is so much nicer than a lot of other boats of this genre we've been on. I love the helm height on this boate. Guys, this Stamus 370 Aegean definitely checked all the boxes.